Hello, my name is Chanel Portram. Um, this is Udemy, and I'm really excited that I can potentially create my own course outline that I think people will take something away from and enjoy learning. Um, this is my test video. Um, I've seen in there that I have to do a test video so that my um, visual as well as my audio can be tested. Hopefully it meets the standards of Udemy. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm a mother of four. I am a model and entertainer, a motivational speaker, and a sex talk expert. I decided that I would like to create, because there's been so many people in different age groups coming to me asking different types of questions on different levels of sexuality. Um, some people want to know more about different topics like masturbation, or the art of sex in general, um, stimulation, um, different types of things that they can do to spice up the bedroom. Depending on which age group we're looking at, I'm getting bombarded with a lot of different types of questions that I would love to start at answering. And um, being able to create a course line based on this um, idea that I've come up with would be phenomenal. I think that it would have a large turnover rate a lot of people are shy and not too many people outwardly are comfortable with their sexuality or even know where to start or how to talk about it. But if it was proposed and put out there, there's going to be a lot of people that if they don't have to worry about anybody else knowing or what somebody else will think, they would definitely most likely want to sign up and ask questions. And I am a thesaurus of information. Um, when it comes to the, the topic of sexuality. Um, the art of sexuality is a beautiful thing. And I think in many generations, they tend to rush things along. And um, it lessens the exposure and the level of... Hmm, the levels that you can achieve like your body can be pushed to different brinking points and um, you'll never know if you stay in a normality of a box. Certain people are afraid of oral, certain people don't feel comfortable receiving or giving. Um, there's just so many different areas under the art of sexuality that I would love to be able to discuss. I think that it's a healthy thing to talk about it. If you don't talk about your concerns or questions that you may have, then those are things that may never be answered. If you never gain knowledge, then you can't grow. And I think every area that you could potentially gain knowledge in is great. And you should definitely move forward. Um, what else do I want to say? I think that uh, change can be scary for some people. Um, but the times are continuously changing all around us. We have upgrades and advancements. And I think that when we suffer in ourself, it's because there's certain things that we don't want to let go of and certain things that we're afraid to step out of our comfort zone and try new things. Well, new things bring new experiences and new experiences could lead you on a different road in life that could be profitable, enjoyable, bringing you peace bringing you comfort, bringing you relaxation, bringing you happiness. There's a lot of people that are tense and even in their jobs that may be, be good jobs, there's something missing in their life. Everybody has something that they need. And the issue is figuring out what you as an individual needs and then pursuing that open-heartedly and open-mindedly. And when you're learning anything, you have to go in open to receive information and knowledge and you have to be in a mindset to be able to receive the information and process it for yourself apply it to your life and your living circumstance i think that that is overall like key but i'm really excited to be here and i really 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 hope to hear back from you demi soon um, because i've been working on this course outline and i definitely want to get it in and get it approved so I can get started. Again, my name is Chanel Portram, and it's very, very nice to meet you guys coming from Newport Ritchie, Florida.